Hey guys, I'm James Alexander Ellis and uh, we are here at the amazing Culture Gym and Kitchen which is in Wandsworth in South West London and I'm super excited because today is the first day of filming for the series of Workout Empire videos. So um, we've got some amazing equipment in this gym, um, some awesome machines, so I can't wait to get started with this stuff. So um, let's go for it. Okay guys, so uh, hands up if you know the most heavily trained muscle in the gym these days. It's these bad boys, it's pecs. Okay, so what we're gonna do in today's video is, fittingly, for the first video, I'm gonna take you guys through one of my favorite chest workouts. So one of the questions I get asked constantly through my social media and by my clients is, how can I build a bigger chest? Most guys wanna make their chest bigger, thicker, stronger. The most common mistake I think people do is they rely on heavy benching and um, they don't control the time of detention. So what's time and attention? Basically, one of the main stimuluses for growth in muscle fibers is the amount of time that those muscle fibers are contracting for. And so what you can do, you can apply a set amount of time and attention to try and increase this growth stimulus. So in this case, I'm gonna try and get all my sets to be around about 60 seconds of time and attention. Generally, the guide would be between 40 and 70 seconds of time and attention to elicit a growth stimulus. So the way that you can do this is you can count your eccentric reps. So the lowering phase of every rep is gonna be given a four second count in most cases. So as you lower the bar, four, three, two, one, and press. Okay, most people in the gym are just generally pressing the bar up and down without any sort of uh, concept of time. Okay, so most people are gonna do 10 reps. They're gonna do maximum two seconds per rep. That's 20 seconds, 20 seconds of time and attention isn't gonna give you any kind of growth stimulus. Um, certainly not in, of that type of stimulus anyway. So by focusing on time and attention and timing your sets, and timing your reps carefully, you can get a little bit more out of your chest workout. Particularly if it's the kind of style of workout you're not used to. If you are one of those three sets of 10 bench press people, this is gonna be pretty painful, okay? But the results are definitely worth it, okay? So uh, let's get started. Okay hey guys, so we're gonna start with incline dumbbell press. Probably my all-time favorite chest exercise just because of the kind of mind-muscle connection you can get in your upper pecs. Everyone needs to focus on their upper pecs generally. Most people have got pretty big lower pecs, including myself, so always working on upper chest, generally speaking. So I tend to put upper chest first in my workout for obvious reasons. So you're most strong at that point in your workout and you can concentrate hardest. So we're going to squeeze the chest at the top. Okay. All right, so that's set one. Generally on the time and attention stuff, I'd recommend having a pretty short rest periods. So the more of an endurance theme your workout has, the less rest you need in theory. Targeting more like slow twitch muscle fibers in this kind of workout. Slow twitch fibers need less recovery time. So if I give myself about 60 seconds before I hit the second set, that should be about right. One of the key things with getting this time and attention right is that you either have your training partner time the length of your set, Again, in this case, we're looking for 60 seconds. Or you just get very good at counting the centric phase of your set. So in your head, you're going five, four, three, or four, three, two, one. So get used to counting in seconds, and then you don't need the stopwatch. Or have something with a stopwatch. Either way, whatever suits you. So uh, 
second exercise in our time and attention session for the chest. Um, just trying to work out what this actually is. This is a bench press. All right, this is a bench press. Um, you guys are probably pretty familiar with this. Uh, this is the number one exercise in the gym where we let our egos control what we're doing, okay? And um, doing time and attention training is all about throwing your ego out and actually trying to get the muscle working, okay? So don't worry about the amount of weight that you're lifting. I'm gonna try and do it with 80 kilos, but that might not be right for you. I want you to try and get uh, 12 reps with the four second eccentric. Pretty much as we did on the incline uh, dumbbell press, but just gonna do it with a flat bench. Okay, this is most people's um, staple diet when it comes to chest work. So let's see if we can apply that kind of like technique to this exercise. All right. So already pretty warm by this point, so I'm um, not going to do a warm-up set on this one. I'm just going to go straight into it. Have a spotter ready if possible. My spotter is um, holding a camera, so I don't have that luxury. Okay, set one. Um, maybe a little bit ambitious on the weight there, but I got my reps done and I got my four second eccentrics. Definitely got some blood in the chest now. That set was pretty difficult, but I'm gonna try and get a second one out anyway. I'm gonna try and keep the same weight. Um, if I'm in trouble trying to get the reps out, what I'll probably do is re-rack the bar and just take like what I'd call a rest pause, which is a short five to second rest in the middle of a set. Just, just gonna help me complete all the reps. Hopefully I won't need that. 